Hey everyone, in this video, you will learn how you can integrate Zoho CRM with QuickBooks Online. So guys, here you can see uh, we are connecting Zoho CRM, which is a customer relationship management application with QuickBooks Online, which is an accounting application. And here you can create invoices and bills. So here the flow of this automation will be like this. Uh, as you are going to add any contact in Zoho CRM, the same contact will be added as a customer in QuickBooks Online. So we are connecting Zoho CRM as our trigger application and adding the contact which is going to trigger this automation. And as you add the contact, the customer will be created in QuickBooks. So QuickBooks is our action application, right? So here we are going to do this with the help of Pavli Connect. So you can set up this automation without any coding skills very easily. Let me show you how. So here you can set up your free Pavli Connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get free automation tasks to set up your automation and test your automation, right? So after signing up, you can log in to reach here on the dashboard of Pavli Connect and here you have to click on this create workflow button to create a workflow of automation. So here you can give a suitable name to this workflow as well. So here I'm giving Zoho CRM to QuickBooks. So after filling the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page started loading up here. All right, and these are the basic building blocks of the workflow, the trigger and the action. So here in the trigger, we are going to connect Zoho CRM as the trigger application. And it is saying when this happens, that means when an event occurs in a trigger application that is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action is saying do this. That means action would make Pavli Connect perform any action according to the trigger. So in the action, we are going to use QuickBooks Online, right? So first of all, from this trigger section, choose the trigger application as Zoho CRM. <clears throat> Here it is selected. And the trigger event would be a new module entry. So it will trigger this workflow when a new entry is created in a specific module. So uh, we have many modules here. You can see in Zoho, uh, these are the modules, leads, accounts, deals, tasks, and contacts. So contacts is also a module. So whenever we got a new contact added here, that is going to trigger this workflow. So select new module entry option here. And in the action, you have to choose uh, QuickBooks Online, here it is. And action event would be create a customer. Okay, so now you can see cl clearly whenever a new module entry happens in Zoho CRM, the action would be to create a customer in QuickBooks Online. All right, so now it is time to connect Zoho CRM and trigger. So click on connect here and you can see it is written here every 10 minutes. So this trigger is going to check uh, in every 10 minutes, if there is a new contact added or not, and if, if it finds a new contact, the workflow will be triggered and a customer will be created. Okay. So click on connect here. And from here, if you're making the connection with Zoho CRM for the very first time, select add new connection option and the connection that you're making here by this, uh, by a new connection option is going to be saved in your account and you can give a name to this connection also. Okay. So if you want to connect again with Zoho in a different workflow in the future, you can use the saved connections in future. So you can use the saved connections by selecting this existing connection option. And uh, you can select your existing or saved connections from this list and create the connection again. Let me first show you how to make the connection for the first time. So I'm selecting new connection then click on connect with Zoho CRM. And here it is asking, uh, your Zoho accounts domain. Okay. So you can see these are the domains available in Zoho. Let me show you my account. Here is my account and you can see uh, from the top search bar that my Zoho account belongs to Zoho.com. All right. So this is my domain Zoho.com. So just copy this domain from here and paste it here and then click on save. All right. And it will bring you to the login window if you're not logged in. As I have already logged in, it is just asking to allow the access to Pavli Connect to make the connection. So click on accept here. All right, and it will be connected with Zoho CRM. You can see we are now connected. And here it is asking to select the module's name. 
So I want that whenever a contact is created, contact is created in the contacts module that is going to trigger the workflow. So my module is contacts. Okay, right now click on save and send test request. And here you can see it fetched the data of the most recently created contact from Zoho CRM as the test data. Here you can see it is showing the owner's name. The, this is the contact owner's details. All right. And this is the detail. This is the email ID of the contact, right? The status is saved. This is the created time of the contact created by this person. And these are the details of the contact. Chris Harris is the full name. All right. This is the phone number and status is approved. So you can see we have a contact here actually named as Chris Harris and this is the email ID and this is the created time details. So, and this is the same contact got added here like this. Okay. Chris Harris. So, uh, we are collecting these contacts through a form guys actually. So we have created a form. Let me show you the form. This is a small contact form I have created with the help of Zoho only. And with the help of these, this form, we are collecting the details of the contacts here in Zoho. So uh, let me show you actually how you can, how the contact got fetched. So I'm filling the details of any demo person again in this form. Demo is the name of the person. First name is demo. Last name is person. <clears throat> this is the email ID. All right. And here, let me fill in the any you know, random contact. So here I'm clicking on submit and it will be uh, this contact will be added in my Zoho contacts. Okay, so it, it is redirected here. So it is I have actually selected the re redirection page to pavli.com. You can select any your website as well. Okay. And here, let me refresh the contact section. All right. And here you can see the contact that I have, uh, uh, the person I have filled here in the form is got added here actually like this demo person is added here now in Zoho CRM. Now let us capture the data again. I'm clicking on save and send test request again to show you how exactly the data got captured. And now you can see the most recent contact got captured here again with this name. Full name is demo person created by this person who, so this is the person. This is the email ID of that person to whom the Zoho accounts belongs to. And these are the details of the person who have filled the form, right? That's how you can capture the data. Now, guys, I want to create a customer in QuickBooks online according to the data that we have received in the trigger. So for that, we are going to connect with QuickBooks online in this action step. So just click on connect here and from this window, select add new connection and then click on connect with QuickBooks online. And from this window, uh, it will ask for the access to be given to Pavli connect to, uh, to connect with QuickBooks online. So as I have already logged in, so it got connected. Okay. If you're not logged in, it may bring you to the login window, right? And now it is asking for the display name of the person, the given name, middle name and all these things. So guys, I'm going to use the test data that we have fetched here in the first step. And I'm going to map these labels that I have received here in this step to create a customer in QuickBooks. So you just have to click here on this display name field and it will show you the previous step or the trigger step in the drop down. And when you click here, it will show you all the data that you have received in the trigger. So from here only, I am going to map the display name of the person as <clears throat> the first name. Okay. And in the given name, I'm going to map the full name of the contact. So here is the full name. Okay. Here you can give a title, suffix, company name. So if you have all the details, you can map all the details. Right now I am mapping the available details only because all fields are not compulsory fields here. This is the mobile number. I have mapped it. And here let me map the email address. <coughs> so if you have GST registration details, you can select that. You can fill in the GST pin number. You can select 
you can map the address details if you have collected that okay right now i do not have all the data so i'm leaving these things blank okay i'm just showing you the demo you can use all the fields now guys you can check your connection with quickbooks online by clicking on save and send test request and a new test customer will be added here uh, in this contact section of your quickbooks this, this is my contact section guys okay so here let me click on save and send test request and let's see if we got the data added in quickbooks so this is the response we have received here let me show you here if we got a new person added or not so i'm refreshing the contact section of quickbooks okay and here you can see a new person named as demo is added here and when i'm going to click on it you can see this is the display name and here are all the details of the customer the email address the mobile number all right and these are the details that i have added that I have mapped in my uh, workflow that got added here okay right so this is how it is going to work guys so our connection is working fine with quickbooks and we have got a new customer added all right uh, automatically in quickbooks online and guys we are done setting up this automation so when you map the details here in these fields like this from the trigger what will happen now we are done setting up this automation now we do not have to do anything manually here. We even don't have to touch or open this workflow. Now guys, as and when you are going to add any contact in Zoho CRM application, the same contact will be added as the customer in QuickBooks Online automatically. This workflow is going to run in background and the labels are going to be updated automatically and a new customer will be added here every time you add a contact in Zoho. Okay. So we are done setting up the automation and you can use this same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description. So you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel